This morning we are leaving our lovely apartment in Kuala Lumpur and we are heading to Ipo um, and I'm going to take you on the journey. We'll be going on train so hold on to your... what's the word? Hat. Okay. And uh, you guys can come along with us so hold on to your hats. Let's go. So we got in the uh, the Uber and we're heading to uh, KL Central with an S and uh, Steve's our Uber driver. Is that right, Steve? Yes, hello. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. It's not very far, but uh, once we get to the, the train, it's about two hours, Michelle, on the train. Two or three hours, two or three hours on the train. We'll take about uh, two or three hours. We'll get to uh, Ipo about three, four o'clock. Okay, so the haze in, in Kuala Lumpur has been... Last two days, I don't know if you can see out there, but the last two days, it's been pretty hazy. And Steve's just saying to me that uh, at the schools, uh, they're keeping the kids in because uh, obviously for, for health reasons, they don't want them out uh, in, the, in the smog, basically. So we're in uh, KL Central now, and Central with an S, as I said. This young lady is just exchanging us some Aussie dollars. We're getting a few more Malaysian ringgit just for the journey. Okay, we're in the uh, central atrium here. We'll turn around. And we've got to go um, upstairs, up one level. And so the confusion begins. Often when you're traveling, it is like this. There isn't a lot of information around this place. And um, there are no uh, ticketing offices that we can find. We've been all over the place looking for a ticketing office where we actually got our tickets online. So we'll, we'll get on, we'll find it. Make sure you uh, bring plenty to drink because you're gonna get dehydrated in this sort of heat. It's sticky and muggy, but uh, it's not a long journey today. We're on platform two. It's just up there. We're on platform two, and uh, it's about 50 minutes before the train arrives, so we've got plenty of time. There are places to, to shop here. There are places you can get uh, drinks and things, so you're all good, but there is no AC. It's very, very muggy. Now, here's a tip. Hot, muggy, <laughs> and pretty unpleasant. Um, Cool, nice, fresh. So if you if you really get too hot, pop in one of these shops. They're like sort of 7-Elevens. Have a little cool down, get yourself a drink. All will be good. Should be getting on hopefully soon, but... but nobody's here. Not a lot of air ventilation through uh, uh, KL Central, or at least this part of it. Very little air ventilation. So it's a bit stuffy. You'd think uh, a train that was leaving at half past would have you boarding at least 10 minutes before. Probably, uh, I think, 30 minutes before, but uh, we'll see. Cordon up. Maybe. So <laughs> when, when eventually someone lets us on, um, you can't even, you can't open the gate. Everybody, passengers are trying to pull on that cordon to get it open. Nobody could open it. Nobody can open the gate. Ah, well done. And so begins our journey to Ipo. Here she is. We have a train. At the front, thank you. Well, there's one thing is for sure. We're in the last carriage, whether it's the first carriage or the front carriage. Okay. They are narrow, they are narrow. We're probably in the last carriage. Virtually the last seat. Virtually the last seat. The three, seven. Man. Six, five, four, three. C and D. It's looking all right. It's looking all right. Air conditioned, nice and cool. Hello. Hello. Say hello, YouTube. I think actually we're at the we're at the front of the train, the pointy end. Let me have a little look at the carriage. So it's a single carriage. We're right at the front of the train, which is great. I think actually these seats are facing the other way. But there's a driver that end, so I'm pretty sure we're at the front. So it's always good to know when you're on a train what the facilities are like. Um, okay, uh, now look at this. I know this is uh, the disabled 
Automatic door. The nicest toilets I've seen in a train for a long time. Automatic wash. Best toilets I've seen on a train in Asia for a long, long time. So that's a nice surprise. Lovely air-conditioned carriages. So Michelle just noticed we've got on the train. Nobody's asked for a ticket. No one. Nobody. There's no one in checking anybody can come. Yeah, it's, it's just, just like it's a free train. It's cool. <laughs> So we've been going for about 25 seconds. We've stopped. We've stopped already. There's probably a few stops in the in the city centre, I'm guessing. This is a beautiful old station. Have a look at this place. probably saw uh, pretty safe. We are now at IPO. Let's just take a little look around. Another one of these uh, beautiful old buildings. Here goes the captain. So overall a pretty decent experience. Nothing really too too bad about that was it Michelle? Or pretty simple? Very simple. Very simple and how much was it? 25 ringgits each. 25 ringgits each. Just over 8 About 8 Australian dollars. I think you divide that by about 4 for US dollars. Yeah. So not, not bad at all. That's the sort of prices we'd like train fares to be all around the world. And the service, as I said, very good. Here's our exit. So now it just remains a very short journey off of the train. So this little area out here and we're just going to look for our uber to arrive have a little look at the station from the outside the lady here selling um little indian uh, snacks okay 
what it's uh, our taxi is one minute away this is the front wow it's another hot one really really hot weather now possibly we haven't come uh, quite at the right time of year for Malaysia and I know that people say uh, the winter time our winter time uh, your winter time where you are in the northern hemisphere is a better time to be here it's a little bit cooler but if you don't mind the heat a little bit of humidity it's all good so uh, the the guy in the Uber has turned up what was your name my name is Shama 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 yes. Shama I'm Steve Shama for short <laughs> Shama for short yeah so Shama's gonna take us down to our hotel this is Krishna is it yeah, Krishna. Oh, I didn't recognize Krishna is a brother oh, of yeah. course yeah, yeah. I suppose I should put my seatbelt on. Is it the law to wear your seatbelt? Yes. Yes. yes, it is. It is. So, clunk, click. Every trip. So we're on the border. So now we just crossed into the new town. This, this is new town. The service is good and the food is just as good. That's what we like to hear. What we like to hear. The food so far in Malaysia has been very good. So that is our hotel just up ahead. So there goes our Uber driver. We arrived in the center of Ipoh. This is the newer side of town apparently. Luckily we got ourselves what looks like a nice little restaurant below the uh, the hotel. Let's check in and see how it is. How are you? I hope this place is nice. We're all here and uh, we're going to set ourselves in and probably have a little bit of an explore around yeah after half an hour or so a bit of a break check out the epo white coffee so here is our room we've arrived a lot smaller than the apartment we had in kuala lumpur a lot lot smaller but it's nice you've got a, a little bathroom in here we've got a window we're at the front of the building hopefully it's not too noisy otherwise we can always change places i suppose Nation unknown.